Sal entered and out here for recordonline.com. This is Nightcap. Going to do a quick recap of Army 1710 win over Navy, third straight win over the midshipmen. Army hasn't beat Navy three straight times. You have to go back to 1996 when they won it. I believe it was four in a row. Today, they, um, you know, Army dominated the first half here. They um, outgained Navy 180 yards to 39, but only led 7 nothing. Jeff Munkin said his team would be in the battle today, and they were. Fourth quarter, a huge play by Kenneth Brinson. He sacks Garrett Lewis. He recovers the fumble. And uh, four plays later, Kelvin Hopkins, Hopkins, who was the MVP of the game, scores his uh, second touchdown, which gives Army a 17-7 lead. Navy did not go away. They had, had a field goal, a 46-yard field goal, uh, to make it 17-10 with uh, 29 seconds left. But Jordan Asbury recovered a fumble. Uh, didn't recover a fumble. He recovered a uh, onside kick to seal the win for Army. Army, 10 wins now for the second straight season. That's the first time in Academy history they uh, win the Commander-in-Chief's trophy. Now they earn a trip to the White House to see Donald Trump, who was in attendance. And Jeff Munkin said he got to shake Donald Trump's hand, uh, talk to him for a couple seconds before the game. Um, they'll go back to the White House um, in April or May uh, for another uh, ceremony for the Commander-in-Chief's trophy. They now still have a bowl game against Houston. They could win 11 games this year. They came into the, this game ranked 22nd in the nation. And, you know, they really, they're really going to build on that. Big game from the defense, four turnovers. Jalen McClinton had a huge forced fumble at the Army six-yard line uh, with Navy looking to score their first touchdown in the fourth quarter. James Gibson falls on the fumble at the three. Uh, McClinton had an interception of Zach Avey in the first half. Mike Reynolds, who tipped McClinton's interception, had his own interception. And then the Brinson forced fumble. Navy did a really good job against Army's uh, running attack today. The fullbacks didn't really get to have too much room. You saw a lot of two-yard gains on first down. Darnell Wolfolk did have an, uh, a huge third down com conversion on an 18-yard run from Hopkins, uh, uh, off a pitch from Hopkins that led to Army's field goal. John uh, Abercrombie with a 33-yard um, field goal in the third quarter on Army's opening drive of the half. Um, you know, just a great job by... Army's defense, Navy had a little over 200 yards total offense. Their quarterbacks were limited to 5 of 17 in the air. Army forced Navy to throw the football. And, uh, you know, they did a good job in Malcolm Perry, probably the most dangerous player on the field today. They did a good job of holding him in check. Malcolm had a couple long runs, but he didn't reach the end zone uh, today. Uh, and I think that when Jay Bateman was had three weeks to prepare for this Navy offense, I think he really had his defense zero in on Perry. That was really evident in the first half. And, uh, you know, just looking at uh, stats on Malcolm Perry, uh, just real quick, I, I I don't think he reached 100 yards today. Uh, Malcolm Perry had uh, 52 yards on six carries. He only carried the ball six times. Wow. Um, you thought Navy would get him a little bit more involved today. So Army uh, leaves uh, Philadelphia as a uh, – Commander and Chiefs Trophy champions with their third straight win over Navy. The celebration after after the win was really uh, probably the most um, fun Army's had in these three victories. Uh, James Nautical, Darnell Wolfolk, Jeff Panera, Andy Davison jumped into the stands to sit with the Corps of Cadets. Jeff Munkin climbed um, the, uh, a wall near the stands and pumped his fist in the air. Three Pete was chanted by the Corps of Cadets and Army once again, our service academy or the Service Academy, or the Kings of, of Service Academy football here in Philadelphia. For Nightcap, I'm Sal Internado.